Hello, this is Nevis. I'm going to show you how to create a very quick audio clip to add to Google Slides. I'm using the Audacity app that's downloadable and you can use on your desktop. So the first thing that I want to do is I've just opened the app and there's nothing here. I'm going to uh, save the project or create a project, but I'm going to save it, save the project as it's giving me a warning. I'll say OK because I need to give it a name and I'm going to call it. OK, now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and quickly create the very first clip. So what I need to do is I've got some very big buttons up here that make life very easy. The red button is to record. So I'm going to click on the red button now. Hello, my name is Nevis. And this is an Audacity clip audio for my Google Slides. Okay, now that I've recorded it, I can just go back here and listen to it. I just want to play it quickly. Hello, my name is Nevis, and this is an Audacity clip audio for my Google Slides. Okay, now that I know it works, maybe there are some sounds in here that I want to remove. So, or maybe I want to remove all this last section, and I can do that simply by pressing the cancel key and it's disappeared. But if I want to, for example, remove uh, or eliminate a loud sound, I think here. And, okay, so I want to eliminate this. I can go into something called generate and generate silence and say OK. And let's remove that uh, sound in there. So you can even do a quick um, editing on the, the audio clips. I prefer to do tiny clips and then add them together. OK, the other thing that I want to do straight away is I'm going to call this and call it audio track one. I can give it any name I want, but I'll just call it uh, audio track one. I normally call it the slide number that I'm going to be adding it to. Then I'm going to create a second clip. So what I want to do is I want to mute this one. I want to make sure that I'm at the beginning because I'm going to start always at the beginning. If I needed to have all these going in uh, succession for one audio, then I would start here at the end of the first one and continue. But I'm going to start here at the beginning. So I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller and I'm going to um, track, add a new track, stereo track and let's record again. This is for slide number two. Thank you for listening. <laughs> okay, so what I did was I just added some coughing in there to make sure that I want to turn this into silent. So I'm going to generate the silence and I'll say okay and then maybe I can think well I don't want all that space there at the end of my slide I might just get rid of that and press the cancel key okay let's listen to it again this is for slide number two thank you for listening okay now I notice that there's some uh, strange sound up here I'm going to generate silence Okay, so now we have uh, name it, let's name it, and we have audio track number two. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to mute this one, and now you'll notice that they're both muted. I've got two. And what I want to do now is I'm going to make sure that I've saved, so I'm just going to click on save, or control S will do exactly the same. Um, now what we need to do is export them. So in order to export them, I need to unmute. So I'm going to unmute slide one or the first track that I did. And I'm going to go to file and click on export. And you can see that there are different ways of exporting. My uh, preference is MP3. So I'm going to click on export as MP3. And it'll ask me where do I want to save it. So I'm going to create a new folder and I'll call this Audacity Tutorial. And that's going to be my file name. So I'll click on Open. And here I can have 
Audacity, the file name is going to be track number one. And I will save it. And then I'll get a little uh, metadata tag and I can go in here and change all this. And I'm going to click set default. So that it'll always show up like that. I'll say OK. And I have my first one. Then I'm going to mute the first one. Unmute the second one. Do exactly the same. Export MP3. And this is going to be audio track 2. Then I'm going to mute. One more time, save the project if I need to make sure I want to keep this. And that's it. I've done it now. So here we are. This is the presentation that I'm preparing where I'm going to add the little audios we've just done. Stay tuned for part two.